going on YouTube? Links Forte here, bringing a Wi-Fi battle to the channel. And uh, I originally said I was only going to do live Wi-Fi commentary, but that's a lot to set up. <laughs> so, however, however it happens is how it's going to happen. Um, whether I decide, oh, this person might be good, let me set up everything and get a Wi-Fi battle or a live Wi-Fi battle going, or if I'm just hanging out and I happen to get a good battle, I'll just do it that way. So yeah however it happens it happens but videos will come here and there um just i need to get good battles in so as you can see here i have the same team i used last video i think it's the same team yeah because i had yeah so it's the same team i used in the last battle um in this battle i was trying to determine what he may wanted to lead with um as you can see i'm going up against my boy Kale, and i really didn't know what he wanted to lead with um I saw the obvious lead, what, what I use anyway, is Focus Sash, um, what is that thing called? Focus Sash, Lycanroc, with uh, Stealth Rock. I know a lot of people are using Midday, but I like Midnight just for the simple fact of no guard. But uh, I really didn't know what he wanted to lead with. I thought there was a potential of him leading uh, with that Lycanroc, and I figured, hey, I can get off a, uh, I can lead with Dragon, or Gyarados, and get off a Dragon Dance, and Waterfall it there. And uh, let's just get into the battle so we can see how everything is. Um, but again, that was my plan. It's like I saw the Lycan Rock. I figured that was possible a possible lead. So I said, let me lead off with Gyarados and see what he wants to do. And uh, that's exactly what he does. He does lead off with that Lycan Rock. And now once you have a plan in place, it doesn't always stick. Because I forgot that... About, I forgot about No Guard at the time. And I didn't want to take a Stone Edge. So I'm just going to get out. There's no reason for me to stay in. Like, and I run Thunderfang on mine as well. So I, I don't know what he's gonna run on this. And I was just like, no, let me get out. Let me get out. Going into Halego. Uh, I can take a Stone Edge. I can take a Thunderfang. Oh, well, actually, I don't know if he can take a Stone Edge. But I figured this would be a good way of me just get my rocks up. Uh, he's actually gonna go out into Magirna. And what surprised me was that he outsped me. I'm modest, but Magirna outsped me. To me, that says Choice Scarf. So he goes with the flash cannon and does a, a lot of damage. So I'm just gonna go uh, get my stealth rocks up and I want Neo Lego in later. Um, so I'm gonna go back into Gyarados to take on this to to take up this uh, flash cannon. And this I think this is a perfect time because now that I know it's Scarf, I know he has to switch out. He doesn't want to lose Magirna. Magirna is an amazing Pokemon. I don't care what anyone else says. Magirna is an amazing Pokemon. That Pokemon is going to be OU once the tears are finally said and done. Uh, and then he goes out into... What is this thing called? Like, this is the thing I have with nicknames. I don't... Oh, Passimian. Okay. So he goes out into Passimian and um, he had this... We were having this battle on his live stream. And I couldn't remember if he was running Choice Scarf or not. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and Mega Evolve. Like I, the reason why I went for Dragon Dance without Mega Evolving was just in case this thing came in. I wanted him to think that I wasn't Mega. And so I went for Dragon Dance, regular Gyarados, and then I Mega Evolved trying to catch him off guard so he wouldn't, so that would make him go for the Rock Slide or something like that. But this man predicts me and goes for a close combat. So I lose my Gyarados like three or four turns into the game and yeah <laughs> it was not good at all so it, it basically i had an uphill battle to climb after the fact but um like i i kind of use this knowledge to my advantage and i'm sorry to say but uh, we had i think i think i was like the 10th person he battled on stream that day or whatever so i had seen that rugby monkey i knew it was choice so i go into my marowak knowing he has to switch out and uh, I kind of figured that this wishy-washy would be coming in. So I'm just going to click Earthquake. There's no point in me trying to set up or do anything else. It, it just wasn't necessary. Um, so I just go for the Earthquake. Knowing and my Marowak is max speed. So I'm just going to click Earthquake again. Get rid of this wishy-washy. I don't need this thing on the field. I don't need that happening. Because uh, I don't know if it's Choice Band or if it's like Life Orb. But wishy-washy hits hard. Whether it's physical or special. That thing hits hard. It's slow, but it hits really hard, and you do not want a wishy-washy to stay on the field. So he's gonna go on to a lock and rock, and I don't want to get hit by a no guard, or I don't want to get hit by a no guard stone edge. So I'm gonna switch out, and this is when he reveals rock polish. Yeah, not something I wanted to see. So now I have this uh, fast lock and rock 
on the field and uh, there's the no guard stone edge now I'm just kind of trying to figure out what it is I need to do to uh, get rid of this lacking rock so I go into Kamala not sure if I could really eat up a hit but at this point it's the most defensive Pokemon I have <clears throat> and so he's gonna go for the stone edge and uh, I'm just thinking dang it, I just lost my Kamala and I live on 11 I was so happy because now I get off this earthquake granted my Kamala is really low at this point um, this Kamala has like has max HP and it's max attack and it's adamant I've kind of been experimenting with Kamala sets so <laughs> uh, I really do like the max attack uh, adamant set with max HP but I'm not sure like <clears throat> I have another one that's a uh, assault vest as well with the same EV spread but uh, he's gonna go back into Passamian I know Close combat is going, coming. I'm trying to figure out what I want to go into or do I want to sack this thing off. I just get off a little bit of chip damage with a sucker punch and uh, he's just going to go for the earthquake. I mean, that's it's the best play because I have nothing that's, that's off the ground. So that's the best place for him to go for. At this point, I'm just thinking, okay, let's go into Raichu. I'm focused, Ash. I can take the hit. I can take this thing out with a psychic. Uh, he shows me a choice scarf. It hits me with the EQ. And uh, this is where I lost the battle. Instead of clicking Psychic, I misclicked and clicked Nasty Plot. I, I think what I don't know if I don't know exactly what I was thinking, um, but I misclicked. Like I think I was going through my options in my head, and I, I saw Nasty Plot, and I was like, you know what, yeah, I, I can do this. And no, I misclicked. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I misclicked. And uh, that's basically where I lost the battle right there. Um, I, I could go into Magirna, and I, obviously I'm going to do a lot of damage with this uh, Floor Cannon that's coming. Um, he's going to go for the Earthquake, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Puts me about half, or a little bit under half, and I mean, Magirna hits like a truck. <laughs> I mean, I get that that's Stab, and it's super effective, but Magirna hits like a truck. And uh, so down goes his Passimian. I'm gonna get my Soul Heart boost. Puts me at minus one instead of minus two. And now he's gonna bring in his own Magirna and now we have a face off of the mechanical Pokeballs. Uh, he's faster because he has Choice Scarf so he's gonna get off his Flash Cannon. And I'm gonna take that because I am Assault Vested. <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm, I have no reason to really stay in so I'm just gonna Volt Switch out of here. So now I have uh, my Marowak left. And I kind of played my options whether or not I should go for Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, or um, Earthquake. I looked at his team and I said, you know what, Shadow Bone is my best play. It hits everything and it should take this Magirna out. And I see that HP drop and I'm like, yes. And he lived literally on one because I went back and watched the replay. He lived on one. Now it didn't matter because he still has his own Marowak in the back. But it's just one of those things, it's just like, man, I could not catch a break after the misclick and then after living on one, like, just give me this. <laughs> so he goes in his own uh, Marowak and I'm thinking, you know what, I still have a chance to pull this off. This is going to be a speed tie. And I'm thinking, I got this. And no, he, he outspeeds me. And it's not because he won a speed tie, his Marowak is actually jolly. He, he has that Marowak just to speed outspeed other Marowak, which is really smart. Uh, I don't know how hard it still hits, but it's really smart. And so uh, I just go into my Mirgina, and he's gonna finish it up with a Shadow Bone, and uh, that's gonna be the battle. Crit didn't matter, but uh, that's gonna be the battle, man. It was a good battle. I had fun with it, and uh, I really don't know if anything would have been different had I um, not misclicked with Raichu. But good game, Kyle, man. Guys, stay tuned. I got another one coming. This is Link's Forte. I'm out. Peace.